extrinsic semiconductors impure form of semiconductors is called as extrinsic semiconductors here the conductivity mainly depends upon the impurity atoms based on the impurity added extrinsic semiconductors are classified into two different types such as n type n type semiconductors and p type so let us see first how n type semiconductors are obtained so in case of n type semiconductor the pure semiconductor and intrinsic semiconductor is doped with an impurity atom so to obtain an n type semiconductor the pure intrinsic semiconductor is doped with an pentavalent element such as phosphorus antimony arsenic arsenic etc so let us see how we are getting the n type of semiconductor so in case of n type semiconductor so for example the the valency atom valency electron of germanium is 4 so if a phosphorus impurity is added it is an pentavalent that is it consists of five valency electrons so one two three four and you have excess one electron so what is the valency electron of germanium germanium is also the valency electron of germanium is four germanium germanium so these germanium atoms share one atom and they form a covalent bond so like this they form a covalent bond so all the four valence electrons of germanium is shared with four electrons of phosphorus so you have one electron in excess so in this case what happens there are excess number of electrons so since there is excess number of electrons these type of semiconductors are called as n type of semiconductor if you take the energy level diagram you have an you have an valency band and you have an this is the conductional band and you have an donor energy level ed and fermi energy level ef Fermi energy level EF. So in this case, what happens? So in this case, it donates some electrons to the conductional band. So next is P type of semiconductor. So in P type of semiconductor, a pure or an intrinsic semiconductor is doped with a trivalent compound such as indium. gallium boron etc boron etc so in this case what happens the valency electron of germanium is 4 whereas for example let us consider indium in case of indium the valency electron is 3 so what happens there are 3 1 2 3 and this is germanium this is germanium this is germanium germanium so the valency electron of germanium is 4 so what happens all these these three indium atoms are shared by the germanium atoms and there is one hole there is one hole created in the germanium atom so in this case what happens the excess there is excess of holes since there is excess of holes the majority carriers in p type of semiconductor is holes so it is called as an p type semiconductor in this case what happens the majority carriers are holes so this type of semiconductor is called as an p type of semiconductor so if you take the energy level diagram so in case of n type semiconductor we had a donor energy level because it donates an electron for the conductivity whereas in this case what happens it accepts so there is an acceptor energy level so this acceptor energy level lies very close
and this is the Fermi energy level and this is the valency band and this is the conductional band. So in this case what happens the Fermi level that is the uh, acceptor energy level lies closer to the valency band carrier concentration of an n type semiconductor so, so this is the band structure of an n type semiconductor this is the unfilled valency band and this is the donor energy level so at 0 kelvin there will be some electrons in the donor energy level so when the temperature increases few at, uh, in the room temperature also what happens some electrons will move from the donor energy level to the conductional band so when the temperature increases what happens some electrons from the valency band will also move from the valency band to the conductional band. So once when an electron moves from the donor energy level to the conductional band, a hole is created in the donor energy level. So let us assume that the density of electrons in the conductional band is given as n of E is equal to 2 into 2 pi m star E k b t where m star E is the mass of an electron and Kb is the Boltzmann's constant, T is the absolute temperature, Ef divided by whole power 3 by 2 into E power Ef minus Ec divided by Kbt. Let Nd be the number of donor energy levels per centimeter cube. The density of the state is that of Ede which has energy Ed below the conductional band. In general, the density of holes in the donor energy level is written as N of E DE is equal to ZED into DE into 1 minus F of ED. So, NH that is the density of holes is given as ND is equal to 1 minus F of F of ED. So, 1 minus F of ED is the probability for finding the electron or finding the particle in the unfilled state. So, for the filled state, F of E is equal to 1. For unfilled state, uh, N, NH is equal to 1 minus F of ED. Therefore, F of D is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus E power ED minus EF divided by KBT. Or, therefore, 1 minus F of D is equal to 1 minus 1 divided by 1 plus ED minus EF divided by KBT. So, therefore, 1 minus ED is equal to E power ED minus EF divided by KBT divided by 1 plus E power ED minus EF divided by KBT. Since EF minus ED is very very greater than KBT or ED minus EF is very very less than KBT. Therefore, ED minus EF divided by KBT is very very less than 1 or E power ED minus EF divided by KBT is very very less than 1. <coughs> Therefore, 1 plus E power ED minus EF divided by KBT is almost equal to 1 or it is similar or equal to 1. So, therefore, equation 3, this equation, equation 3 becomes 1 minus F of D is equal to E power ED minus EF divided by KBT since 1 plus ED minus EF divided by KBT is similar or equal to 1. So, therefore, equation 3 becomes 1 minus 1 yeah, F into ED f of ed is equal to e power ed minus ef divided by kbt substituting equation 4 in equation 2 therefore the density of holes nh is equal to nd e power ed minus ef divided by kbt so put this as equation number 5 at equilibrium condition the number of electrons per unit volume in the conductional band will be equal to the number of holes per unit volume in the donor energy level. So, therefore, equating equation 1 and 5, we get 2 into 2 pi m star E k b t divided by h square whole power 3 by 2 into E power E f minus E c divided by k b t is equal to n d into E d minus E f divided by k b t. So, therefore, this equation can be written as E power E f minus E c divided by k b t divided by E power E d minus E f divided by KBT. So, that is equal to ND divided by 2 into 2 pi m star E KBT divided by H square whole power 3 by 2. So, this equation is simplified as E power EF minus EC minus ED plus EF divided by KBT is equal to ND divided by 2 into 2 pi m star E KBT divided by H square whole power 3 by 2. So, E, e power 2 EF minus EC plus ED divided by KBT is equal to ND into 2 into 2 pi m star e k b t divided by h square whole power 
3 by 2. So, in this case what happens EF plus EF that is 2 EF minus taking the minus sign common EC plus ED divided by KBT. So, now taking log on both the sides. So, by taking log this equation becomes 2 EF minus EC plus ED divided by KBT is equal to log ND into 2 into 2 pi m star E KBT divided by H square whole power 3 by 2. See the above, this equation is two, uh, simplified as 2 EF is equal to EC plus ED plus KBT log ND divided by 2 into 2 pi m star E KBT by H square whole power 3 by 2. Therefore, the Fermi energy level EF, the Fermi energy level EF is equal to EC plus ED by 2. So, we are simplifying the above equation as this. So, we want only the Fermi energy level EF. So, EF is equal to EC plus ED by 2. So, this 2 comes, comes here. Therefore, plus KBT by 2 log ND into 2 into 2 pi m star E KBT by H square whole power 3 by 2. So, put this as equation number 6. So, at 0 Kelvin, when temperature T is equal to 0, at 0 Kelvin, when temperature T is equal to 0, the above equation can be written as EF is equal to EC plus ED by 2, because all the other terms will get cancelled, because at temperature T is equal to 0, if you put T is equal to 0 here and here, these both terms will get cancelled, and we can get only EF is equal to EC plus ED by 2. So, put this as equation number 7. So, what this equation 7 tells us is that is the Fermi energy level lies exactly in the midway or in between the conductional band and the donor energy level.